DFW map, we see a picture of the universe as it was 300,000 years after the Big Bang. We're looking at the universe's baby picture. This room, our entire universe, is filled with the leftover light from the Big Bang. There are a few hundred photons in every little cubic inch of this room that are photons that have been traveling for 13.7 billion years. It's the oldest light. Looking at the light, we're looking back in time. Nature has provided us with a time machine, and that is the speed of light. That radiation has streamed across the cosmos to us. It comes to us, and we just record it as a photograph, essentially. We designed a WMAP to go study the temperature fluctuations of this light and to characterize the pattern on the sky because we knew that the pattern would unravel the recipe for the universe. You're measuring the relative temperature of two points of the universe. You're measuring, is that one one ten thousandth or one one hundred thousandth of a degree hotter than that one over there? To work with the level of precision that we wanted across such large areas of the sky, we really needed to go to space. And that's why we built the satellite. That's why we built WMAP. You spent many years of your life designing and building and testing the, this instrument. Yes, launch day, the only other thing it compares to is giving, <laughs> giving birth. It was 1.5 million miles from the Earth. It took a year of data to actually put together a high quality map of the sky. To my surprise, we saw what we expected to see. With WMAP, the tools we had were good enough to explain what the universe looked like 13.8 billion years ago, really for the first time with high precision. But just like with a baby, the genes are there already. All the stuff that's gonna make it into an adult are there. Because if you have one region that's one ten thousandth hotter than the other, by the time you get to today, that has grown to be a super cluster of galaxies that contains stars, planets, and us. Somehow we seem to have done it. We think we understand the physics that happened in the universe's first moments. Here it is, the infant universe.